Hey guys, what's going on? This is the Fan Club, and I'm Kyle. Today I'm going to get on here and I'm going to talk to you guys about the Nexus 9, the newest tablet from Google. I'm going to also compare it a little bit to the Nexus 7. I'm currently rocking the Nexus 7, as you can tell. I also have a small portable Bluetooth keyboard that goes along with that. I mainly chose the Nexus 7 because it's small and portable. I'm a big fan of Asus, which the Nexus 7 was made by. As you can see, I also have the Asus laptop. Uh, the Nexus 9 is made by HTC, which we know HTC always comes out with a good design and uh, durability. So let's jump right into it, uh, some of the differences between the Nexus 9 and the Nexus 7. Right now, price is a big thing, of course. The Nexus 9 on Amazon is $349 for a 16 gig. The Nexus 7 is $179 for a 16 gig. The Nexus 9 has an 8.9 inch screen, to where the Nexus 7 has a 7 inch screen. The Nexus 9 is 7.95 millimeters thick, to where the Nexus 7 is uh, 8.65 millimeters thick. The Nexus 9, of course, with the bigger size, is going to be a little bit heavier. It's 400 and 25 grams compared to 290 grams that the Nexus 7 is. Uh, the Nexus 9 comes with Gorilla Glass 3, um, so it's going to be really strong glass for you on there. Uh, Nexus 9 will come stock with Android Lollipop 5.0 to where Nexus 7, you'll have to get the upgrade for that. Um, the bigger screen might mean a few bit more pixels, but actually the it has a 2048 by 1536 resolution, and I guess it's going to be a little bit more vivid than what the Nexus 7 was. Um, the Nexus 9 has 2.3 gigahertz, 64 bit dual processor, dual core processor, sorry about that. Uh, where the 7, it was running the Snapdragon S4 Pro, which was only 1.5 gigahertz, and it was a quad core processor. So the Nexus 9 is going to be more powerful than the Nexus 7. Uh, they both run on 2 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, the difference in the cameras is the new Nexus 9 has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera and a 1.6 front facing camera. And on the rear, if you look here on the Nexus 7, if you can see, it's only the camera, there's no flash to where the Nexus 9 has a camera plus a flash on it. So uh, tablets are never good to take pictures with, but if you're going to be taking pictures, and that's a big thing that you do with your tablet. Um, Probably the Nexus 9 will, will be better for you there. Um, the one thing that really sticks out to me on the Nexus 9 is if you look here on the Nexus 7, the uh, speaker is right here along the top and it's only on the rear facing, so whenever you're holding it, watching it, sometimes it's a little muffled, especially if you're laying down to where the Nexus 9 will have a speaker on the top and the bottom. They're going to be front facing and uh, they're some of the best speakers on a tablet to date. Um, the battery life is about the same. The Nexus 9, you're going to get about 9.5 hours out of it. With the Nexus 7, you're going to get about 9 hours out of it. So uh, that's all I got on the two. If you're looking to upgrade and you currently have a Nexus 7, you want to go to Nexus 9, I hope this helps you. Uh, the big difference probably most likely will be the size of it. If you're looking on the travel and you want to use it with one hand, this might be great for you. Uh, if you're mostly using it at home, maybe the Nexus 9. So I uh, hope it helps you guys out. This is Kyle with the Fan Club, signing out.